til to af cykelsportens store legender. Det er Niki Terpstra fra Total Energy og Iljo Kajse fra Quickstep Alpha Vinyl. Welcome guys. Thank you. Thank you for being here. How are you guys? You are racing in Denmark currently. How is it going? First night was pretty hot. So, uh, <laughs> but it's, it's nice to be back racing on the track again. Mm. It's been a while for me, so uh, it's nice to get used to the track again. Yeah. And you're not uh, racing together this time, but you've done no. that several times. How is it to compete against each other? Do you prefer to be on the same team or to compete? Well, we race together with success, I think. We, we uh, Not only on the road, especially on the road, he had the success and I tried to help him. But also on the track, we won uh, quite a few six days in Rotterdam. But we also won here the, the 100 kilometer chase. So pretty good memories. How is it to uh, help uh, Niki on the road? How was that? Oh, it's always been a pleasure. I mean, uh, it was not only a helper, but we were also always rooming together. And uh, yeah, they always say you don't have too many friends in cycling, but I think for me, Niki has become a friend. I know in the peloton, he's not the most popular guy oh. sometimes. <laughs> but <laughs> no when, shit. When you have him in the team, he's actually. Yeah, he's the he's the perfect teammate. So he's the one that you you really need in a team. Is Nikki? So yeah. for me, it's always been a pleasure to mm. to be around and to help Nikki in uh, on the road. I think you, Nikki, is the, the the that guy who's who's been fighting the most and tr somehow getting away with it. You know, using your elbow, spitting people. I think we <laughs> probably also had fights. I never spit people. But <laughs> <laughs> for sure, you used the elbows. Uh, for sure, you used the elbows. Yeah. But it's it's somehow, you know, what made your career, I think, the the aggression and the yeah. using the elbows and like both of you were never scared. Kind Crazy. of like you, Matty, you showed a bit of aggression as well when you were riding. Yeah, we laughed in the old days. I have a little bit of a fight now. You cannot have, do it anymore. Mm -hmm. But That's too bad. <laughs> you know? I remember so. Matty the one day in Andorra. Oh. <laughs> yes, I forgot about that one. <laughs> that was aggression. That was. <laughs> what was that? What was happening? Yeah, we were f we were riding. It was in the in the tour or the what? Vuelta. I think it was the tour. It was the tour. It was <coughs> pissing rain. Uh, the stage. I think Dumoulin won it. Yeah, and we were in the Gruppetto. It was going a little bit too fast. I thought we had 20 more minutes to arrive to the top, and uh, I went up. It was more Fabian. Cancellara, yeah. who was pissing me off. Uh. And I went up there, you know, yelling a little bit, and he was laughing at me. And, uh, oh, and you and yelled I more. I threw my glasses, and they were laughing oh. even more, and I threw my uh, garment, and ended up throwing everything just. <laughs> <laughs> wow. And you just broke naked. And then we arrived out. at the finish line 20 seconds before yeah, the, oh, uh, the time cut yeah. wow. or something. We really had to, we heard in the radio that we had to push it a little bit. Mm. And Mate was screaming, like, come on, guys, this is. In group petto, just go easy. <laughs> and then, like, but I remember the glasses. He didn't just throw away the glasses. He were in the middle of a mountain, and he just took the glasses and he threw them like <laughs> in the valley. Wow. Yeah, yeah but the it's rainy days in the mountains are the worst. Yeah. You don't need them. Yeah. But it's pretty common for bike riders to have a bit of a timber, right? Yeah, and also when you're there in the tour, it's just a little bit too much. It's. Uh, bit of frustration, mm. bit of everything coming together, especially on moments like that. Yeah. yeah. So it's similar for you two that your career is coming to an end now. How is that for you? I think it's time for me. It, it feels good. And why is it the right time now? Uh, well, we're fighting about, uh, uh, we're talking about the fighting uh, uh, yeah, mentality. And actually, I don't have it anymore. You don't have the fighter mentality? Well, in the corona period, I crashed really hard, and after that, uh, I got more scared on the bike. And uh, I still like to do the cycling, but I don't have the mentality to 
like like it was before to to be every day uh, on the limit to to go for the the biggest results and uh, this year I had a nice year uh, not good results but it felt okay and and I came back from uh, from America I did a gravel race over there and I didn't had the motivation to go to some races I had on the program and then I thought why should I continue so yeah. actually you could you could say it opposite around like why should I continue I've got the feeling I completed my career. Uh, it was good like this. I don't have any goals to achieve anymore yeah, until my next race, uh, my last race on the track. But on the road, uh, yeah, I'm happy. It's cool. And what about you, Ilio? Why is it now? I said like, I don't know, <coughs> 10 years ago that I wanted to continue till I'm 40. And uh, I'm t I'm today, today I'm 40. So, uh, well, <laughs> so I, I'm happy I, birthday. I, I, <laughs> yeah, happy birthday. <laughs> so, I you still have goal. the motivation, but because you promised to stop when you were 40, no, because also, riders are riding after their 40s as well nowadays. Yeah, but only a few. Yeah. And I'm, I, I'm not comparing myself to uh, Mr. Valverde. It's not possible. Oh, come on. So, no, no, not at all. <laughs> so, I think I, uh, like Nikki said, he had a fantastic career, he, he reached his goals. I had a completely different career. I didn't reach any goals, but uh, I didn't have any goals. The goal was that the team was winning, so... But also that I'm feeling now that I'm... Uh, I'm just not, not as good anymore as I was before. I can still do my work, but I'm always on the limit. There's no fun. Mm. And once I make it to the back, I never get back to the front. So, yeah, and also like in track cycling, <coughs> was also time to stop because I started with a helmet like this one. Oh, uh, really? We call it the Waston helm. <laughs> then I had to switch to uh, the normal helm, mm -hmm. but now they start riding TT helmets on the track, so <laughs> it's time to stop. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. disc wheels, TT yeah. helmets, RSX. Uh, you still, uh, you, you still won that race that everybody still talks about, eh? Yeah. Two of Turkey, yeah. State 7, yeah. 2012. That was crazy. And if, if people didn't see it, they have to look, look it up on YouTube. Can you tell the story Absolutely short? Absolutely crazy. Yeah, it was actually not a super big race, like you say, Tour of Turkey. Went in a breakaway, we were 10 guys, I think. I jumped from the breakaway with 6, 7k to go. I had a gap, big enough to win. Came in the last kilometer. Sharp turn to the right with 900 meters to go, crashed, get back on the bike. Chain fell off. Chain was off, get back off the bike, put the chain on, get back on the bike, start. At the Peloton same time, the yeah, peloton yeah, the catched, yeah, yeah, yeah. catched the, the rest of the breakaway and they were up for a sprint with uh, Petaki, Kittel. There were quite a few sprinters in yeah. Tour of Turkey because it's mostly flat. Yeah. And in the end, I won, but with like... Uh, 10, 15 meters uh, in front of Petaki and Kittel. So it was a really nice picture. Yeah. I won like a bunch print. Yeah. <laughs> in front of those guys. It was a nice guys. podium also with some, <laughs> uh, some pretty big names. Yeah. Uh, but just was a bit like the rest of my career with ups and downs. And, uh, but it doesn't mean when you're down that you have to stop. You mean, you just I have to keep a, fighting. It was a thriller, huh? Yeah, it was yeah, really yeah. cool. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you didn't see it, check it out on YouTube. It's, it's yeah. Do you have any... Yeah, sorry? Well, how cool it was. It looks like he was really cool. Oh, my chain is off. Tick, 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 tick. <laughs> yeah, it goes it smooth, took... he goes on the bike again. Yeah, yeah. But I think in his head it was, oh, fuck. Mm. Yeah, but it's also the commentating on it. It's uh, called Kirby. Mm. I think he's one of the best. He always goes in, like, full gas. Yeah. And uh, he makes it even more special than it, than it was. Yeah. yeah. So, do you guys have any fears uh, by stopping your career now? Like, we talk about this, I can't pronounce it in Dutch, or, uh, but the black hole. <laughs> you can, eh? Zwaarde gaat. Zwaarde gaat. Zwaarde gaat. Do you oh, no. have any fears uh, no. about that? No. No? No, I, uh, next year I'm going to do gravel racing, mm -hmm. and I'm going to do uh, some mountain bike races, so... And you have I will be busy anyway. Huh? You do racing cars also? <coughs> also, yeah, so I'm actually pretty busy next year. Sure. 
And Ilio, do you have an escape plan? Yeah, yeah, I'm already in it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I stopped. I stopped uh, racing. I don't know what date it was. Uh, let's say 14 of October on the road was mm -hmm. my last road race. And the 15th was the the team meeting in in Brussels. So I stay in the team. I will be sport director. I did the course last week in uh, in Switzerland. I also passed the exam. I got the results yesterday. Oh, so. congratulations! Eh? Because it's not not, easy. not that easy. No. Uh -huh. It's you think you would think it's all logic because uh, we should know the rules, but you get much more than just cycling. It's uh, it's quite an intense week over there. I'm happy I made that because. I wouldn't want to go back there. Yeah. So do you have that role on the team? Like, have you have had that role uh, already? So it's kind of the transfer from being a rider at the team to a DS is not that yeah. big of a shift for you, maybe? Yeah, also because I was getting older, they, they used me more to... When Nicky left the team, to um, help the young guys. Mm. Yeah, uh, that's the that's new cycling, you have a lot of young riders. They're, they just turn junior and they already get a contract. It, things are changing, so uh, you need also some guys with experience that can yeah, help the young guys to find a way. That's what, that was what I did the last, the last few years. You played a big role in, in Remco's success also? Or Not in his success, I think. No, but he, he, he acknowledged you as being... Uh, yeah. Know, well, I was always in the room with Nicky, and when mm. Nicky left, uh, I needed a new roomie. Mm. And it's not something you decide yourself or you no. choose yourself. You can ask, but the team decided we're gonna put you with Remco. And uh, was it a good match? Well, at first, when I arrived at training camp and I saw the list with the names and the numbers, I saw Ilio, 29th floor, room 18, and went down. Stibar, no. <laughs> Lampard, no. Oh, even a pool. Okay. <laughs> and then I texted to the guy who made the decision, like, uh, hey, thanks, mate. <laughs> but then he said... Why, uh, why did you feel that? Ah, Is his rep reputation? No, no. I was uh, 37, 38, he was 18. Mm. And we had more or less the same age, yeah. same interests. Uh, so it was a big, big change. Yeah. But first of all, the guys that made the room list, he said, it's not me. It's coming from all the way up, from the, the system decided. upper wolf. Yeah. He decided it. <laughs> the upper wolf. The, yeah. Uh, yeah, the leader of the pack. <laughs> and then, uh, but it was all, it's always been a good match. Not just, was just two seconds that I just, that I said like, come on. But then when I entered the room, it was nice. It's, it's a super good kid. Mm. It's like, like your wife. Yeah, yeah. We sp I spend more, I've spent more times with Nikki in the room than, than some years, I think so, than with my own wife. So. <laughs> You have to have a certain <laughs> yeah. connection, and when, when you get in the room, you, if you want to talk about cycling, you can talk about cycling. If you want to talk about something else, if you don't want to talk, you don't want to talk. Yeah. I go pretty late to my bed, and I like to sleep as long as possible <laughs> just before breakfast. Uh, didn't make it this morning, but uh, <laughs> I knew you too. But if you have a guy that that's, goes to bed early and really wakes up early, the, the rhythm doesn't, doesn't match, match yeah. and then, then you get some annoyance in the room. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh. So I don't know if uh, Belgian and Holland are as obsessed with quiz games as Danish people are, but we love it here. Do you like to do a quiz now and then? If it's not too hard. Yeah, I hope <laughs> it's not. It's a, it's a cycling quiz, so I hope that you are up for it. Yeah, come mm. on. Yeah. Matty claims that he's very good at it, so we'll see. You can be on the same team, you guys, and then compete against Matty if you're up for it. Yeah? But he, he probably made the questions. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody yeah. assumes that. It's, it's not true. He hasn't seen him before. So the quiz it is that you shall, 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 you shall name the winners of the Ronde van Flanderen from 1990 to 2000. Yes? From 1990? Yeah. Till 2000. Yeah. So we just pick names? Yes. But not in the right order. In the right order, no. No uh, order. You don't, uh, okay. you can just shoot. <coughs> yeah. Well, but yeah, shoot. how do you do it? No, we so just you say the again. shooters. Huh? Yeah. And then it's like a... Oh, like okay, that. Then it's, yeah. 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 No, that was uh, mm -hmm. 98. So when somebody gets a wrong name, you're out, ah, okay. basically. Yeah. Okay. So you, you guys see. can begin. Oh, yeah. Shooters, huh? 
So you should name one now. Yeah, Rolf yeah. Sørensen. Oh, Rolf Sørensen, yeah, yes. <laughs> Rolf yes, Sørensen. Yes, I couldn't hear. Yeah, uh, okay. Schmil. Yeah. Oh, he's from Petergem. Yes. Yeah. Gianni Bugno. Yes. Museo. Yes. Um, Jackie Durand. Yes, yes. Yeah. Bartoli. Yes. You're choking, Matty. Yeah, Come I'm. On. But it's embarrassing. Yeah, it's pretty embarrassing. You're supposed actually. to know this stuff. Andrea Tsavi. No. Oh, that's no, later. That's later. Oh, that's later. You say that's both of them? Something. Uh, Van Hooydonk. Yes. Edwig. Yes. All right, I would say that Niki and Ilya won this, Matty. Yeah. I'm sorry. The thing is, in Belgium, you have the street where all the races pass, and there are all the names yeah. that are painted on the street. So yes. every time you pass there, you see the names. So you have an advantage so, in yeah, this game, actually. You should actually yeah. know yeah. them. Guys, thank you so much for coming today. I have a little present for you because you beat Matty in this nice. quiz. It's his own yeah, well, the... board game. Did you make this? Yeah, he made ah, it. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Nice. So, thank you so much for coming here today, and thank you for everything you've given us during your career. Thanks for the impact. Good luck. Yes, thank you.